everyone, new video. In this case, I'm going to share with you data information chronology about Tesla as a company. What's the future of this company? Stay with me during this video and you're going to learn the key points to take in consideration once you decide to invest in this incredible company. We're going to make a review of the history of the company in terms of uh, well, mainly hard work, uh, technological uh, advantage that this company got over the industry and others. First of all, I want to share with you a few um, sources, a few articles. Uh, Business Insight is one of them. Um, you're going to find here uh, details about what exactly is the future of the company, why some people consider it was one of the best options. Also, um, Seeking Alpha, it was one of the portals did a really good study of the, of the evolution of the hardware, technology, and so on in the company. Um, but of course, for this video, I'm going to make the thing shorter. And I'm going to go to the point and share with you uh, the key points of uh, Tesla as a company, um, just to give you an idea about what exactly is the evolution we can expect from, from the company in the coming years, including a chart technical analysis report. Here we go. Let's see if this works exactly. Um, well, starting point for Tesla, it's um, one thing we have been facing uh, the last few years, and it's something I will say... It's a common factor in all businesses related with Elon Musk is continuous exaggerations. We got commercial or marketing from a commercial or marketing size exaggerations uh, is based on the comments done by the CEO Elon Musk on social networks. Um, as an example, let's say a few years ago when he mentioned that he, he eventually he will accept Bitcoin as a currency to buy the Teslas. It was uh, one move uh, that was causing certain volatility on the market. Um, Bitcoin was rising massively because of these uh, words uh, coming from the CEO of the Tesla company. We also have here many other bad news, like, uh, again, exaggeration about catastrophes or accidents related with Tesla and the system of conduction and so on. This chronology is actually given to us a whole picture about how exactly is changing that technology, the whole industry, and what's the view we can go on the, on the view. So in 2014, the autopilot system, the self-driving system, was out with Tesla. It was designed by NVIDIA. The hardware used by the uh, cars, it was done by NVIDIA, one of the most top companies today, in our days, a um, successful company in the uh, technology uh, sector in US. Uh, the system was called Drive PX2. That was the system, the hardware system done by or designed by NVIDIA to um, self-driving of uh, Tesla cars in 2014. But um, by 2015, that system was launched on the market and it was uh, accessible for customers. It was also that um, was accessible uh, as a complement on your car. We will see now the prices, but uh, the idea was just to offer this system as an accessory like a as a complement on the mainly Tesla. Tesla was an electric car, but if you want to, uh, it is uh, driving by itself, you need to pay an extra $5,000. By then, even more expensive today. 2018, Tesla introduced their home chip, their home system. Uh, instead of using the NVIDIA hardware, they introduced their, ho their home hardware, and they, they claim it is 10 times faster than the NVIDIA previous chip. By 2018, also, they introduced the FSD, which is the radar system done by cameras that is reading all perimeters area and detecting objects just to uh, adapt the driving, uh, self-driving sessions, let's say, to uh, unpredictable events on the road. Um, by 2019 to 2022, autopilot and F FSD systems, the, the radar system, has gone from 5000 to add on to over $15,000. So from 5,000 add-on complement on your Tesla car to $15,000, one of the main concerns people got about uh, investments on Tesla, and some even some analysts mentioned, it is um, it's not so accessible, these cars, because it's getting super expensive. But they mentioned that considering the evolution of the industry and this sector probably is not going to be that expensive when one of the main clients that Tesla is uh, he, he got and also he aspirate to have it in the future is corporative clients, not particular clients. It means like a new companies with uh, electric cars, taxi self-driving systems that the people can eventually going to hire on the apps, on the phones. Um, they're going to just get a car driving to your um, collecting point or, 
um, um, and then take you wherever you need to go, drop you there. And it's just uh, self-driving systems. Uh, and it's companies like, let's say, in, my, in the future, Tesla is uh, closing a deal with Uber, for example, providing many Tesla cars with self-driving systems to Uber companies, right? Uh, report published uh, in Seeking Alpha estimate that Tesla will have 34% of global vehicle market by 2030. This is just an estimation. Just keep in mind that China is also moving super fast in this industry, in this sector. It's producing a lot of cars. Um, diesel or um, gasoline cars are also dropping massively in China. The sales done by Japanese industry in China are well, they basically were in the wrong size of the market. They thought that this electric cars thing will not uh, will not evolve in the direction that they were expecting, and they were wrong. Basically, the sales in China are, are rising. Um, the government is also uh, approving new measures to uh, stimulate or incentivize uh, retails and users to to get these kind of cars or use these kind of cars, even again by hiring by companies. Like, I, I can, again, in the future, you got another app that you can just uh, locate one car and the car is driving to you, picking you up and dropping you off from wherever you need it um, with no driver, just by itself, by the system, and you just pay the company and the company buy the cars to Tesla and so on. I'm just seeing the future. And this is probably one, one thing they are considering right now with also the support of the governments because the governments in this new green deal green policies, green projection of the future, they're probably going to uh, destine a lot of resources or even um, tax uh, incentives to the companies who decide to develop these kind of uh, services, right? 2023, Tesla will have level 4 self-driving system available, not yet available to the public and accessible to a few corporative customers like taxi companies. This new level 4 self-driving systems only few companies are developing this system, and apparently Tesla already in 2023 got already the level four self-driving systems done, which is an evolution, a next step on, on the self-driving systems. By 2030, estimations say by 2030, level four self-driving systems will be accessible um, by the whole market, uh, which is uh, more or less in six, seven years from now on. From 2025, 2025, Ford and General Motors, Ford and General Motors will make vehicles compatible with Tesla charging systems, bypassing the more complex and um, cumbersome traditional CCS systems. The old traditional system for charge or load uh, the batteries of these cars it was CC system, which is a um, more complex, heavy. Even you need to integrate the vehicle inside of the vehicle to charge them and so on. With Tesla systems, is much easier, shorter, and again, Ford and General Motors are considering to use the system to uh, make their vehicles compatible with the um, Tesla uh, charging system networks. Right? <clears throat> a just quick, just a quick reminder, reminder that um, just to remind you that the charging system and networks used by Tesla were introduced in 2010 and 2011, which means by then, by 2025. It's almost 15 years designing um, stations or ports, remote remote stations to charge your Teslas. It will be probably more Tesla station available than anything else. And therefore, cars uh, that are designed or, or get compatible systems bypassing CCS systems, they're probably going to get um, more sales. Let's say at the end of the day, users are going to demand these kind of cars on the top of others just to get more access to uh, Tesla system, charge systems. Uh, note, in Europe, by law, all electric cars must have systems compatible with Tesla charging systems. Now, India, pay attention because this is now estimations about the future. And it says, new trade agreements, negotiations for a new factory to produce 500,000 Teslas by year in, China, in, in India, sorry, is one of the business or the deals that apparently Tesla will be negotiating in our days today. India will ha will offer, we have offer tax breaks for Tesla car importations in next, uh, in exchange for the company's investment to the country. Uh, which means, this is a rumor, it's not confirmed yet, but if the deal or negotiations are going in this direction, it means like uh, India will give certain tax benefits to Tesla, which means like they, for example, they will not impose any taxes on importation of Tesla cars if Tesla is actually open 
a factory there and is producing Tesla cars from India. This is a deal that, in theory, it's a rumor, will be under negotiation with Indian government and in our days now. Q2 results. The Q2 results were better than expectations. The expectation was, was they, they give us an estimation of 445,000 cars uh, by second quarter of this year, 2023. And the real numbers, the numbers delivered was a uh, 466, 140 cars deliver, 479,700 cars produced by Tesla. So they went by far um, uh, on the top of the estimations in terms of production of cars. That was all. I don't want to give to you any recommendation in particular. I don't want to tell you what to do with your money. This is just a, a video designed to uh, give to you an update. I'm going to also share with you now uh, we didn't finish yet, the chart view, the technical view and analysis on the charts of Tesla. Three, two, one, and here we go. Uh, as you can see here, we are actually, um, since, uh, let me check exactly, since May, Tesla has been rising constantly on the market, doing really well, but we can see also that we got certain resistance in the area of uh, $300 per share between, to be honest, it's, it's between 280 to 300 because we, we saw that in, in January 2021, uh, those $300 was clearly a resistance. Let me just point for you. Actually, we're going to use another tool to make this more clear. Um, this one. So yeah, back in January, the $3,000 per share, it was obviously an area that it was uh, working as a resistance. Finally, uh, almost by the end of the, that year, Tesla was breaking out those levels and rising to the top of uh, top records in the history, which is uh, $400 per share here. About $400 per share, actually. Um, since then, the trend has been a bearish pattern until... 2023. In 2023, the pattern changed completely and we are in a bullish pattern again, as you can see here. Yeah. Now, I believe the main challenge that Tesla got is, again, $300. At the moment, it's uh, at $282.98. But the main challenge that Tesla got it on the market is V. A vote be quoted a vote three hundred dollars. If the price is actually breaking out three hundred dollars, happy days. Otherwise, naturally, what we could expect is, um, as you see here, this bullish movement with the corresponding contraction. We are see a bullish movement here with the corresponding contraction. That means even if we see Tesla falling during the the coming um, the coming weeks. The coming month, couple of months, that's still okay as far as as far as we keep uh, Tesla over two hundred thirty, two hundred forty dollars. Everything about those levels is um, eventually is given to you the potential to keep rising and rising to uh, new top records, right? So I will say, I will say, um, should I buy right now Tesla? Chart is saying to you, be patient, wait to see if those $300 are broken up or not, because right now you are too close to that levels already. It's almost $290 per share. It's $283 per share right now. So why not to wait? Why not to stay there and see what happens on 300 And depend on what happens on 300 we keep moving or not. Um, otherwise, if by the time Tesla is moving in the area of 300 even $310, $305 per share, Oh, I lost my train. Oh, it's too late. No, it's never too late on the market. Keep that in mind. It is never too late. Just be patient. And you probably will see a pullback moving back the prices below the $300 per share. And if the price is dropping and it's getting close to 250 240 it's really good levels to try again, to actually buy in these areas and try to, boom, get another... Um, another bullish uh, trend there and just buy and hold because as you usually say i mean uh, this is a uh, weekly weekly candles we can wait for for months there 
right? This is the most natural movement. It's indicating to us that the next seasons, the next weeks, we probably face a, a Tesla company with certain troubles to pass the three hundred dollars. Even though, uh, if those um, uh, if those uh, three hundred dollars per share are uh, are not getting successfully passed, and we see the price retracement to uh, two hundred fifty, two hundred forty, get ready because it's probably really good levels to buy new Tesla shares and hold on your pocket on your portfolio for the coming months or couple of years, right? All right, I think that's all. Um, I hope this uh, report uh, finds you well and, and also uh, successful. And um, you can actually find um, a good results for over more or less the review we have done today here, okay? Follow me and click on subscribe uh, to this channel if you want to uh, keep updated on new uh, on new. Uh, New values, new assets, and new stocks. We also monitoring commodities, index, um, equity in general, uh, forex, and plus currencies. Okay, cryptocurrencies. See you in the next videos. Take care. Bye bye.